Infinite Tarot 888. This message is for Scorpio. Now you can have Scorpio anywhere in your chart. And Scorpio, this message may resonate with you or maybe just a piece. Take what does it, baby, and send the rest to the universe. Look, the first card that came out was the moon. So, Scorpio, this is you. You're like, fuck, no, I don't look like no lobster. Okay, but look, there's something that maybe you've been hiding or maybe somebody's been hiding from you to keep this heartbreak from hitting you. But for a lot of you guys, <coughs> I'm picking up on this is something from your past. You Maybe you found out something that could have been heartbreaking. Maybe it was somebody that took from you. It's almost like, look, date came in now this could be male or female but this is somebody you might have had a lot of trust with maybe this was a past lover this is somebody you could have had a family with and at the end of the day this could have been somebody that look the world it's, it's almost like you had they were your world you had them on a pedestal and this particular person look they really took, they almost broke you. You have the heart right there, the, the seven of wands right underneath the three of swords. <coughs> but you also call judgment. And for a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys, this could have been you. Just for some of you guys, put yourself where it belongs. Like this tower came in, this is even you too. You could have caused a tower with somebody. So if this was you, this is you take account, uh, taking accountability. And you're going to this, look. The lestral cord is what I'm hearing. And you're like, yeah, I did this. Yeah, I did that. And I think for some of you guys, when it came to the person that, that did you wrong, because maybe this could have been something with your past. This particular person was kept rushing in, maybe talking, spreading lies, rumors. For a lot of you guys, you were just going through a, an awakening. So there was changes that were being made. But somebody, some, some of you guys, you had somebody that came in. And it could have been somebody <coughs> that really came in to distract you. This could have been a cancer. This could have been somebody you was married to. For a lot of you guys, you weren't expecting this. Now, I said earlier, a lot of you Scorpios, you might have. It's not that you might have, I'm hearing. You wasn't perfect. You had a past. But there was something about you that maybe you were making changes. And if you were married to this particular person, you could have been wanting to celebrate and go a different way. Because this is the three of wands. And it's almost like the universe, God was directing you. So there was a journey that you were being called to answer. And it was crazy as look, Three and three. So for a lot of you guys, you almost felt it coming. It was going to be a heartbreak. If this was a third party situation, it was going to be a heartbreak. You were trying to move in a different direction. If it was just you wanting to answer your calling, you knew if you were married to this particular person. You were married. You had a lot of love for this particular person. Maybe you were trying to do the correct thing. <coughs> but for a lot of you guys, it didn't happen that way. And it shocked your world. For a lot of you guys, look. And here you go with the death again. Now, Scorpio, for a lot of you guys, there's somebody that wants you back. And the reason they want you back is because they see you doing a lot better. 
they see you moving on. For a lot of you guys, you you probably living in a house like this, in the castle. You, you just leveled up in a different way. And you have the six of wands and and somebody's looking and and it's almost like they they praying to God, can you forgive? Can you help me? It's like they want your forgiveness, but they want you back. They want this. Now, <coughs> for whatever reason, man or female, this person could have been this one that walked away. And look at the difference. Now they're looking to God, or this could have been you, Scorpio. But for a lot of you guys, they're asking for forgiveness. And it's almost like you can see it right here. You did this and this and that. Yes. And for some of you guys, you've made so many changes in your life. Did I think um, you might have outgrew this particular person? You could have parted ways. You could have... For some of you guys, Scorpio, you wanted to say, you know what? Thank you for this lesson. You were trying to communicate this. Hey, you know what? I think this is where the road ends. You want to move forward. But this particular person didn't like that. And look at this devil, this energy. And for some of you guys, this card came out again. They took action. And they took action to sabotage you. Look at this. Now, they could have been, <coughs> for some of you guys, this could have been an air sign or somebody with air in their chart because we're seeing a lot of air. You see air right there. We have air. This, look. And this right here. And earth, we got earth here, we got fire, we got everything, water. Now, Scorpio, sun, moon, rising anywhere in your chart. Some of you guys, you've healed. You've already been through this. You, you, some of you guys already dealt with this, this devil energy. You overcame it. You had a goal within. Some of you guys had a heal inner child wounds, insecurities, abandonment issues. Some of you guys felt alone. Some of you guys, look, you had to go through a list of things. Some of you guys documented this situation. Some of you guys, <coughs> through this healing, I don't know why I'm getting for some of you guys, through this healing, it's almost like God saved you maybe you didn't have anybody because this is you this is you alone and what i'm picking up is you stayed focused maybe you stayed faithful maybe while you were in the desert some of you guys might have been homeless and your faith got so strong that you you just allowed god it's almost like god the universe started to pour into you And look, Scorpio, for a lot of you guys, you have air. Uh, you could have a uh, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo in your chart, or just through your healing, <coughs> you started to heal within. You might have somebody that's looking at you that was asking for you, that was praying for a person like you. And it's almost like the universe brought you somebody or you can feel there's somebody for you, somebody that's going to make you happy. Somebody that that's that you seek that also seeks you. Look at these two right here. So some of you guys could feel this connection coming in. And your past wants to <coughs> wants to come back change. Maybe they feel like. 
they've changed, they transformed. Because there's a butterfly right here for some of you guys. It's a little too late. They're holding on and, and you're a skeleton for a lot of you guys. Look, the tower moment, we've seen it. For a lot of you guys, what they can't handle is that you don't have no hate. There's no hate, no animosity. There's nothing. You understood your lesson. You move forward. For a lot of you guys, you stayed gone until the universe pulled you back. And you understood the lesson is what I'm hearing. For a lot of you guys, <coughs> It, it's almost like someone didn't. For some of you guys, some some of you guys thought maybe they were doing love magic. And you could have found out because, look, there's a, a secret of. There was a knowledge, maybe you acquired secret knowledge. And look, the queen of swords, you rose above and started seeing things from a higher perspective. Now, if this particular person left you homeless, because this is you out in the desert, wounded, for, it's almost like you, you could have been half naked. Look at this. For some reason, maybe this particular person wants to come back because now they're going through their karma. We saw the chariot. Look at this house right here. Maybe they're seeing you. Maybe you moved close by. For some of you guys, they're spying and they're seeing this transformation. And they're watching you look, prosper. And the truth is, Scorpio, for some of you guys, some of you guys want to be like hidden behind the scene. And this particular person, maybe they've had to sell a lot of their items. Maybe they're at the verge of losing the house you could have had together. But now they're valuing you, but it's a little too late. They see you like this, but you're like black and white for a lot of you guys. You're not wanting attention, <coughs> but the universe is pushing you out there and you have this particular person. Now, Scorpio, you have somebody because of this person that wants you back is in this energy. For some of you guys, there's two people that want you. You don't even know. You don't even care. But this person here, man or woman, it's almost like they're waiting for the perfect moment to get you here. Or you could have left them. This particular person is probably working with, with three, <laughs> I was going to say squirrels, pinchy num nuts. And for some of you guys, you, you moved on. And now I'm getting this Scorpio, sun, 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 moon rising. This particular person, look, they're, they're pissed. And it's almost they go from being sad to being angry. But for some reason, I'm getting this feeling that this particular person. <laughs> this particular person left this. This is a man. They, they're angry as fuck. For a lot of you guys, if this particular person wants to spy and get you caught up and they're watching you leave, you have ancestors that are about to put a stop to this particular person. For some of you guys, your protection is so strong, you don't even got to lift a finger. Now, for some of you guys, this, there's, there's somebody that's paranoid that betrayed you. And it could be this particular person. <laughs> and this particular person, look, it's almost like they, they want to catch you slipping. Mm -hmm. 
some of you guys, they expected the person is ready to fight or for the unexpected. And it's almost like, look, they think that you're going to come and sneak attack, but you walked away from that BS. For, for a lot of you guys, you've already turned shit to God and God is handling things. <coughs> and you have this air sign or, an, or, or a, I'm hearing an earth sign and an air sign. That is just watching you with envy. You, I don't know. I've got this calmness for a lot of you, Scorpios. <coughs> you cut cords. That what what I'm hearing is you cut cords. You cut cords with Archangel Michael. Or you're being asked to cut cords, and they're mad because you're leaving them in the past. Here he is. Look. King of Swords. See, this particular person is ready for revenge and you're not even seeking. You're walking away. For a lot of you guys, your justice is just walking away. <coughs> By you walking away, karma's coming for that ass and they can't handle it. This particular person, look, is watching you leave and they think that you might have done magic. But that's their insecurity. That's what they're projecting. And they're all up in their head. Why? Why are they up in their head? Because they see you in this strength. And they know because they betrayed you. And you're playing your cards right. Look at this. This is a poker game. You giving them love. For a lot of you guys, like I said, some of you guys prayed to God and asked for forgiveness, not only for you, but for them too. And that's keeping you balanced. This is keeping you moving forward. It is causing towers for some people, but look what you're getting. So if this is your confirmation for a lot of you guys. I'm telling you for some, this card is catching my attention right here. Look, and it says Exodus 22, 22. Some of you guys are seeing the synchronicity and I'm, this card right here, it says 24 at the end. For some reason, this year, God is about to vindicate you. You don't got to do anything. The towers are going to be falling. You're, never, you're not even going to be around. You're going to be receiving blessing after blessing. And look, all that they came up against you is burning down. And it says right here, you must not exploit a widow or an orphan. If you exploit them in any way and they cry out to me. Some of you guys need to go read that. Because once people abandon you, you become an orphan. Dog. You got to remember, we deal with spirituality. We deal with. <coughs> and I'm hearing once they abandon you, if you had this issue with even your family and you, you become an orphan. You're a child of God. People don't realize that. And if somebody became a widow and they took advantage of them in business, work, home, because look, this could be even a widow. Hold up. This is a widow. Maybe her husband died or why put it however it resonates. Somebody came in. This could have been even a daughter's or her sons, they came in and they took her for everything. This could have been even a business partner. This could have been a daughter-in-law or son-in-law. They want you to trust in God. And look, your ancestors, your ancestors want you to protect your energy. You're meant to succeed. With your kids, ladies, you are amazing. For some of you guys, your ancestors have so much love for you. Some of you guys are all up in your head. You're crying, thinking that you're not going to have love again, but you're about to receive it. Look, and it's not where you're going to expect it. <coughs> but right now, this is what they want. They want you to focus on your bag. For a lot of you guys, the reason that they had to separate you 
from these people is because they wanted you to work on your purpose, your 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 crap, whatever you're doing. Wherever you're being guided or whatever you're being guided to do, it's meant for you to do it with God, you and God. Because this is something that is going to be like this. It's just going to be some of you guys just with your hands. Whatever you touch is going to prosper. And they want you to what? <laughs> this is a fox. For some of you guys, you've got to outfox these people in the past. Because they're just watching. What are you doing? You have the four of cups right here. Look, the universe is pouring back all your cups right there. Look, they've seen all the tears you shed. And it's not because, because of what the tears that you shed. It's because you've been grateful. Even through your hardest times, even when you don't have anything. The way you give God back, whether it's gratitude, whether you're speaking, some of you guys, you build something, you cut flowers. I mean, look, this is you and your ancestors are crying because Scorpio, for a lot of you guys, you were dealing with spiritual warfare. You were on this mission and it had to do with your family. And look, for, for some reason or another, I don't know who needs to hear this. <coughs> Scorpio, earlier we said something about people were pointing at you, at your past. You come with the past. How could he? For some of you guys, you were dealing with people that were like, how can God talk to you? How could, you know, how maybe they didn't like what you were doing or you were being led to. <laughs> and they could have judged the book by its cover. You could have been maybe. Somebody not normally, I'm just hearing somebody It's like, why, why can't God talk to me, man or female? And you were making this transition. So look, you go from this and maybe one of your partner, you, one of you guys, they cut out on you. They saw you crazy. They put you in this energy, but you stayed loyal. You stayed focused. And if, if you're on this route and you feel confusion, you feel lost, you feel abandoned. You already saw God has got you. You just got to trust because this is where you're heading. Look, you got the ten, <coughs> 10 of cups and it has to do with the home. This is something that, the, that God, the universe, you may have Virgo in your chart, but this is you going within. This is you still communicating with God. And it has to do over what? Being locked out being pushed out this is somebody that looked there this was probably your own blood your own family and your ancestors could have went through this rejection abandonment for some of you guys you experienced this as a young kid some of you guys man, they were rough if you're a lady a woman you could have had a father that damn you were 10 minutes later an hour late and they could have pushed you out. You might have not even did nothing with the, with the boy you went out with. And you felt alone and abandoned. If you were a male, the same shit. It's almost like you could have had a death in the family. And it's almost like they took your home. You didn't have nowhere else to go. You didn't have any other family. And if you did have family, they didn't want to help you. So some of you guys, because you still still stay strong in your faith because you went within you're about to get this family <laughs> this family that's gonna that's gonna love you some of you guys are starting from scratch and for whatever reason i'm hearing jobs some of you guys even had to leave family you could have had a family with this particular person you could have had kids they all could have turned their backs on you and scorpio that was a test. Some of you guys stayed so focused on God. I don't know who the, who's, <coughs> who's reading this is. But you're about, to, you're about to receive a lot of blessings. You have the koi fish right here. If it comes out, it comes out. But 
Look at this. And it wasn't easy. You put the full armor of God, but you did it with grace, with love. You were walking with love. See that cup? And it took you a while. Look, for some of you guys, this has been stages. And God has been watching you. It's not been an easy road. Put it in the comments, shit. Because look, for a lot of you guys, your inner child was damaged as a young kid. And here's the koi fish. Look. Look at this. The page. Everything you put your energy in, it's going to prosper. Y'all have, look, two, two. So something with twos. That's war. That's stability. Some of you guys have been praying for a stability when it comes to homes. Now you have somebody that was in the past. They're feeling hurt. They want to come back, man or woman. They have their sword here. Oh, I have clarity now, Scorpio. But your intuition, they want you to use your intuition. For some of you guys, they were juggling. And now you're stepping into this energy where they see you different. And this particular person is looking at you. But if you're not there yet, this is where you're heading. Look, you have this fire. Even though you're a water sign, you have this fire. Some of you guys learn to operate in every energy. And you studied this shit like God was guiding you. <coughs> you in the clouds with God in the universe. And this person's looking at you and they feel now this little. So how could they approach you? They pray to God. Can you please bring Scorpio back? But Scorpio, you don't even look like what you've been through. And it's bringing on the heartbreak. I have Def Flipper playing in the background. It's bringing in the heartbreak. And look, the gecko right there. For some of you guys, you just the way God has you moving. If you stay on this track, you're about to run into what? An equally matched partnership. You don't even see it coming. This person, you're staying focused on God, and this one's like, ooh, that's my match. Because you stayed obedient. Ooh, let's see. What do we have? Four. Okay, they want these. This is for your... Uh, what do you call it? I don't know. But listen, it says, in stillness, I receive your affirmations. Look at this. They want you to stay. This, this is what you've learned. You learn to go within. And then another one says, when I surrender my will to the care of spirit and the universe, I attune my energy with an ever-present stream of well-being. Some of you guys, whew, you're powerful. You're healing. Some of you guys, your belief in God is so crazy that it almost seems like magic. People look at you, your past, and they're like, holy shit. <clears throat> they want you to cleanse, continue to cleanse your chakras. There's something about meditation, something about stretching, movement. That's what I got for you, Scorpio. Hit the like button, share, subscribe, and comment. Stay in this energy and put a stop to what no longer resonates. You don't need this no more. If you get stuck, it's because they want to block this. Okay? 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 That's what I got for you. Hey, Scorpio, hit the like button, share, subscribe, and comment.